is Raider Day. That's right. We're raiding people's lives on the palace. The Ranorama Palace. Raiding them of their existence. That's right. There's a mystique about this name and team that still haunts the NFL. <laughs> Doesn't haunt me. They're not around here. They're in Oakland. Not touching me. So today we're thinking that what are we going to raid? What inside of all of us are we going to just say, uh, oh, excuse me. Nothing like a gray monster, and nothing like some mocha jave from Starbucks. I'm telling you. Oh, I don't need it. I mean, don't think that, hey, I'm wearing this, uh, my uniform today, plastics, okay? I'm working at the warehouse. I'm working at the refinery. The guy, somebody's got to do some work, okay? Hold on. Oh, man. So back to the Raiders. Not that I really need to talk about them because, you know, they're a distance away. But sometimes we just need to invade our space. You know, I know I thought about myself uh, quite a bit lately. When you live by yourself and you're in a little shell or like a little small cavern, you become like a cave dweller. You think too much. Everybody goes, you're thinking too much about it, man. You got to calm it down. Tone it down. And so today is my first day that I'm going to mention to you, not because of the raid that happened to me, but let me tell you a story. A few days ago, driving my car down the road like I would normally drive, not speeding, just obeying the law. And guess what? El Blinko Blinko behind me. I pull over. The police officer comes to, well, he didn't come to my rescue. <laughs> Don't let me, let me kid you. License, registration, and a proof of insurance. So I'm handing him my license. Okay. I hand him my insurance and my insurance was uh, maybe the wrong card, but I have insurance. So and I couldn't find my registration. Well, needless to say, Strazo, you want to get out of the car? Get out of the car, please. I'll look for you. I'm thinking to myself. I've never had a cop get in my car and look through my car. There's not much in there. So, hold on, the story's pretty tragic. So, I'm just looking at you. <sighs> yeah. And so, I get out and guess what? He rouses me, he holds me by my back, takes me over, jams me up against his car. Oh. Police are here to protect and secure our borders. Yeah, that's right. Protect the innocent. But you know what? Uh-uh. That didn't happen. Handcuffs in the back of the car. Unbelievable. Spread them! Spread them! I can hear the words now. Eventually, I do... Uh, they do let me go because I'm a nuisance to society, especially in a car close to two police officers. They don't dig it. They want me out of there. So eventually I file a complaint, go to the doctor, find out I have a sprained brain. <laughs> I'm thinking my body's hurting. He says, no, your brain's broken. <laughs> you cracked your brain, dude. What's wrong with you? You cracked your brain. So uh, he gave me some white cream and said, hey, listen, just put it right here on your temples and just rub it in on it, you know, twice a day and you'll probably be better. It's been about a week. My brain, it's still broken. It's cracked. Okay, it's cracked. And you know what? It's all because they raided my space. The police, who I've always trusted. Now I don't. Okay, I live in a nice community, but I don't trust the police now. I'm now living in my car. Okay, they don't even know what car I have now. All right, I'm running under an alias. So, hey. They won't find me, I'll be fine. But you know what? You never know. Another ticket? El Slamo. I'm going to the pokey. Because the pokey! Oh!
Hey, this is Mark ranting out today. Just hope you have a, a great day. And for all you uh, factory workers out there, hey, keep up the good work. There's no way we could do it. If we didn't have you there doing it, they'd be doing it somewhere in Beijing. Do you know what I mean?